connection's good enough. Good day, everyone. So we're a little early. We've just got to, uh, is it called Westfields? So this is a big shopping arcade. One of those sort of big indoor shopping malls, as you Americans call it. And um, I'll just give it a few moments. <sighs> Amy Cow, hi Punk Emperor, how are you? It's all good, it's all good. So we're in this huge shopping arcade. I've got to find me a supermarket that won't kick me out with a camera. <laughs> Hello, Jan. Michelle's here. She's going to she's gonna be monitoring. Um... Michelle, I'm not sure. I think it's about 11 o'clock. It's getting near to 11, but I'm live, so I haven't got any way of telling the time. I don't wear a watch. Um, 10.43, Michelle tells me. Um, so yeah, we're going to take you into, we're not sure what floor it's on. You'll see from this place here that it's a multi-story. I'll tell you what, Mikhail, type what time is it in Sydney into Google and it'll tell you. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I'm, when I'm out and about live, I, I, I'm not going to be able to check the time and things. So. What I want you to do today, if, you, if you're around long enough, okay, is help me choose some snacks so we can do a bit of a taste test, an Aussie, Aussie snack uh, taste test. Where are you? Over there. So, hang on, let's get, take a little walk through the, um, the shops here. I've got to find the supermarket first. I'm hoping we can find a Coles supermarket because, here, I'll turn the camera around a little bit. Is that, who said that? Um, Mikhail said 6.23.43 in the UK and at Shalom Tops One. Can you have a look? Have Shalom, yeah. So it's 6.43 in the UK. And Jan says hello. Hi, Jan. Hello, Jan. Uh, my random channel, did I say that? I'm Kelly. Kelly's in. Good morning, Kelly. Now, up, up here are these sort of game pillars. Well, they're sort of like you can place Space Invaders on, um, on the pillars. So you'll see, I don't know if you can see ahead of me there. When I get a bit closer, you'll be able to see. The kids, the kids are playing Space Invaders, but they use, you, you stand in front of it. It's a little bit like, um, now I hope the, the sound is okay. We've mic'd up. So hang on, this guy over here, this young man. So he's playing. Let me get a, a better vantage. There's loads of people in here today. Whatever way I turn. Whatever way I turn today. So I think before you... Um, so the idea is you've got this sort of space invaders and you use your... <laughs> and each of these pillars, so it says player detected, wave your arms, to shoot. Have you guys got these? Michelle's just watching. She's not reading the comments. She's watching. <laughs> She's so busy watching the Space Invader lad. He sounds fine. So yeah, you stand in front. It detects you're there and it makes a little image of you. And you, you play Space Invaders. I think it might be on the next level up. Down. Up. I think it's on level three. It could, oh, it could be. Maybe you could ask someone if you, if we see anyone. So, how is everyone today, Michelle? Asda in Australia. No, we don't have Asda in Australia. Excuse me, fellas. Do you know where the Woolworths is? Pardon me. Do you know where Woolworths is? Woolworths. Oh, Coles. Coles would be all right. Is it upstairs or downstairs? Coles, Coles, you go all the way down that way, yeah. as far as you can, and you go down one level. So it's on the, on the, the on basement the, with, on all the, the back, with all the food. Nice shirt, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah, fella's looking good. Um, so Punk Edinburgh says I'm good today, and Mikel saying we're not. 
Yeah, we're gonna have Walmart. Don't think we have Walmart. Not that I know of. What is your we only favorite? we only have Coles and Woolworths. Pretty much the only two. We've now got the German um, Audi supermarkets here as well, which are originally from Germany. Um, but apart from that, we're pretty much. Uh, we got a monopoly here. Very few supermarket chains. Just they're either owned by the Coles Group or the Woolworths Group, and it's a, it's the same across all of the the hardware stores as well. They all so, seem to be owned by just two companies, which which is not great. But Florian says hi. Hey, Florian. And Mikhail says we have so many supermarkets. Well. We do, or they do. Yeah, they do. I, I'm always surprised by these people. They're all over Australia, we have this. I don't know if you, you have these in your country where people can have beautician work done in the middle so of Jan, a shopping arcade. Jan saying, I used to love Woolworths. We haven't had them for years, sad. I'll talk, talk about it in a moment, hun. Yeah. Let's just do this bit at the moment while we're here. So these are, this lady's having all her, her eyebrows plucked and people will come in and they'll have all sorts of strange things done right in the centre of the supermarket. Oh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> what do you think, ladies? Would you like to will you be happy having all your sort of beautician stuff done? Now, the Woolworths over here, Jan, is actually not anything, not connected at all with Woolworths in um, the US or in Europe. It's an independent company. They actually stole the name. Uh, because I think Originally, when Woolworths started trading back in the sort of early 1900s, they didn't um, copyright the name in Australia. And I think somebody, some clever person in Australia just said, oh, we call our shops Woolworths as well. And they did. And uh, consequently, and they copyrighted it over here and everything. Consequently, um, we have a Woolworths chain here, which is not connected in any way to your Woolworths chains that went bankrupt. So have we got to go down, Michelle? Um, yeah, but that's an up, so we've got to keep going that way. Okay. So Michelle says they have Tesco's, as the Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Waitrose, Aldi, Lidl, M&S in the UK. Wow. So you're lucky. You've got some comp competition. Generally, all we've got is Woolworths and Coles. And uh, a lot of these shopping centers that we have, although they're huge, just jeans you see here, uh, what's the next one along? The Athlete's Foot, uh, Katie's. Every city you go to in Australia has the same, same shops. So um, there's a down over there, Michelle. So, excuse me. And, and generally on the ground floor, you've got the food halls. So it's a Sunday. So everybody's busy out and about doing their Sunday shopping. Gloria Jeans, that's a famous uh, copy, like a, a bit like Starbucks, is the equivalent of Australian's Starbucks. Um, Kelly was saying, not sure we have these game pillars in the door ring shopping. Oh, uh, well, I've only seen them recently. I've only seen them um, recently. They're kind of cool. I think they, they're based on they're based on the technology, you know, of the uh, the Xbox, that sort of, um, or the Wii, or the, any of those other sort of game stations. There's a sensor in there that picks up the person. It's probably all sponsored by. I didn't have a read, but um, so we got hush puppies over there. We are looking Peter Jackson's. That's a sort of men's soup shop uh, we got pandora which is i think globally that's the jewelry michelle actually wears a, a, a pandora sorry sorry we have grumpy old men <laughs> <laughs> we got our fair share of grumpy old men you know that's michelle walked in the way of that gentleman oh the scornful the scornful look it's like might have slowed his day down by one hundredth of a second so my random channel says snack ideas, spicy sausage like chorizo or pepperoni. Pardon me? Um, spicy sausage like chorizo or pepperoni is a snack idea. Chances you'll find a good chorizo or pepperoni in our supermarkets are slim to nothing. 
but I'm, I'm, we're really looking at snacks that um, I'm trying to be, keep this fairly surreptitious today, keep everything a bit low key. Nigel says Australia looks fantastic. So let me turn the camera again. So this is this is the food hall. So we've got a sushi sushi bar. Ken's bento box. G'day, how are you? Just looking, thanks. So chili chicken don. 750 for a, a bento box. Cottage cheese wrapped in ham is delicious. It is. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese? Yeah, cottage cheese wrapped in ham. <laughs> she was happy. That way, oh there. <laughs> so there is coals. So we've got fried meats. My daughter says what no Baskin Robbins. No Baskin Robbins. Now I've got to keep your my camera pretty close to my chest here because we're going to try and go into the supermarket as a pretzel shop. So this level is all foods. There's, a, there's often a veggie grocer, of, uh, like a green grocer. Here's, here it is over here. So there's a green grocer, twenty dollars for a tray of mangoes, which is pretty expensive at the moment. I mean, they should be a lot less. They, they've been down as low as $10 for a tray. But this is your typical sort of um, greengrocers. And then next door, we've got the fishmongers. Now, these are really good alternatives to shopping in the supermarket. They're not always independent. They're often um, part of a, a larger um, nationwide company. You can see either side, so passion fruits, a tray of passion fruits, $2.99, lines, um, $3.99 a pack. You've got about, um, it's about $4 a pack. Egg tomatoes, 1K, $2.99. So they're basically uh, Romas, aren't they? Zucchinis a tray, $2.99. Sweet potatoes tray 199 so here's some of the specials bananas are not bad to here michelle 149 a kilo um so is that because we've come underground let me just have a little look at the uh the signal speed now the signal should be okay so is the signal bad can you just confirm with Michelle, have we lost the signal as we came downstairs? Nope. Can't do Instagram at the moment, I'm afraid. So, um, and also I don't do direct messaging on Instagram, I'm afraid. I don't use Instagram uh, that often. So um, if you want to ask questions on particular recipes, you know, ask it on, on YouTube, it's so much better. Just ask it on the, um, on the on, it's better if you can ask it on the recipe where it's actually published, because if you, if you do it there, everybody gets to see it. And then it's, it's useful to everyone. But if I, if I had to answer every single person one at a time, each time there was a question through sort of emails and direct messaging, it was just, it, I, I, would, I would never be able to come out and do these live streams or do anything. So, so Nigel, my uh, random channel, Jan and Michael, all say that it's good. Okay, good. So we'll carry on. We'll soldier on. Soldier on. So we're going to keep the phone now a little close to my chest. We're going to see if we can go into um, to Coles supermarket. This is one of the largest of the two, <laughs> largest of the two supermarket chains. They're always a little tricky to get into. You're never sure which end. Are oh, they doing this end today? So we always have a bottle shop next to our... Uh, we're, we're not going to... How much are their mangoes here? Um, honey gold mangoes. Now, I'm keeping you guys. Just be aware that I'm not looking at the screen at the moment and I'm not able to show you me. So we've got aisle one health food spreads and muesli bars. 
aisle two is cereals, muesli, again muesli, and... Um, That's muesli bars. This is the aisle we want. Aisle three, snacks. So, we are starting. What I want to hear from you, Michelle's gonna monitor, and um, hopefully we're close enough. I want to show you the sort of snacks that we have. So, Mentos, I think, Mentos are similar to Lifesavers in the US. Yes. Um, but if you, in the comments, want to say what you'd like me to buy, and so Kit Kats are on uh, special, 85 cents. Oh, there's a lady and a little child coming in to get get a Kinder Egg. And <laughs> so Nigel says interested in their crisps. Anyone else less quality, or is it just me? I think it's just you at the moment, Nigel. Let me have a little look at my uh, bar reading. It's pretty high. Watch out, this guy behind you just about to come through with the trolley. No worries. So we've got chips on this side. So the chips we have are uh, Deli Rock, Kettles. We've got uh, slow roasted chicken, garlic aioli, sea salt, sweet and sour, sour cream. Is the picture all right, Michelle? And um, Doritos, American brand, uh, Cheezels. Hong Kong Emperor says buy Reese's. We don't get many Reese's here, do we? Pain no, you see, Reese's. what we're hoping to do here, Punk Emperor, is buy stuff that you can't buy. So Reese's, we don't even really have Reese's in Australia. I know what you're talking about, but have a look at what we have and see if there's anything that you, you, you're, you're interested in. This is the home brand. Uh, oh no, it isn't, no, 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 this is Cobbs. So these are some popcorn companies. They've this got, the there, yeah, if it has the Coles labeling on it, it's their own brand, obviously. I mean, so Cobbs, slightly salted. Is the Red Rock, oh, it's half price at the moment, salted caramel and vanilla bean. If you want any of this stuff, say it in the comments. I know you'd like to have it. I wish I could send it and share it with you, but I will buy it. Um, we're not gonna actually buy at the moment. We're gonna go out after this live stream, make a note of everything that you've said. So Michelle, you wanna go through? So, so this is popcorn, Red Rock's popcorn. It looks gorgeous on the package. Generally, it's, I found it's not always as good as as the photographs make out, but that sounds quite nice. Salted caramel and vanilla bean. Didn't have velvet in Australia, no. Nope, never heard of them. Uh, Doritos, that is not an Australian brand. Nigel says chicken and aioli sounds interesting. Uh, salted caramel. Kettles, sea salt, uh, jalapeno and red chili, uh, honey and soy chicken. We've got the Red Rock Deli, that's Thai lime, Thai chili and lime. Kettle sensations, camembert and fig. Interesting. Honey, soy, chicken. What else we got there, Michelle? Um, chipotle and manuka honey. Sea salt and black truffle. Now I've had those, I've had those. They weren't actually all that good, but I'm happy to, you know, if you guys want me to get them and do an on, what is that, a special? Champagne vinaigrette and shallot. Well, I'm probably going to get those anyway, just because because I've not tried them before. Champagne flavored chips, Tyrrells, another another big um, brand. Now, how do you Americans try to pronounce this? Go on, try and say it. Say it out loud to yourselves now. This is the source, by the way, from England. Say it out loud to yourselves now. So they're saying um, Tyrrells, a UK company. Is it a UK? I think it probably yeah, is. So no, it's these ones are made here in Australia. Yep. From Victoria. I always find my American friends and quite a few Australians actually struggle with the name Worcester sauce or Worcestershire sauce. It's generally pronounced to English people Worcester uh, because like Gloucester, you don't say Gloucestershire and Worcestershire, you don't say Worcestershire, you say Gloucester and Worcester. So it's Worcester sauce or Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Well, Nigel but, says it's sheer at end as in sheep. Yeah, but I always find when I, I hear um, Americans try and say Worcester, 
Let's turn that camera around a moment. When you try to say Worcester or Worcestershire, it makes me laugh because you had about sort of five or six um, vowels in there. Daddy says barbecue, my favourite Pringles. Smith's. Mike says correct on the sauces. Oh, I know, Mike. I've, I've, I've been around Worcester for a long, Worcester sauce. If you're really struggling with it, American, American friends of mine, just say Worcester. It's so much easier and it's, it's the correct way. So Smith's crisps, we do have Smith's over here. Uh, Smith's thins, I'm not a big fan on those wrinkly chips, those, um, those sort of processed wrinkled chips. So tell me if I'm going too far. So these are those sort of selection boxes. Any two boxes of 10 chips or crisps um, for seven dollars so we do some of the prices as well Parker's original pretzel snacks we don't have a lot I mean if we were in the US now there would be let me just turn around there would be aisles upon aisles of these snacks we don't have as many as I, I've seen in the US they must be Australian jumpies jumpies the kangaroo chicken jumpies kangaroo shaped potato um, gr Grain waves from some bites, they're sort of wrinkled, processed. Um, I wouldn't say coals, some, I just read a comment there, Michelle, sorry. I wouldn't say, these are the Indian snacks, um, Baja or Baja, um, Indian snacks. Cows don't, coals don't have a deluxe brand of crisps. Not they really. Crisps. They do, they do, Nobby's Nuts. Always got to like Nobby's Nuts. How much are they? $3.35 some beer nuts, uh, salted mixed nuts. We call them beer nuts over here. You tend to have them with a beer. Might buy anybody that is, is leaving. Thank you for joining me. They, they would be minties. Uh, Alan's minties, famous Australian brand as far as I'm aware fully Australian lovely sort of minty chews uh, red skins uh, Alan's red skins Alan's are our sort of um, equivalent of Haribo over here so they're like the the chewies we've got the snakes um, all naturals snakes half price two dollars a pack uh, they do a lot of they do sour snakes I'll just hold it there for a moment for you so you can have a little look so Nigel says do they have Bombay mix Yes, yes, they do. Um, Berry Bliss. Marmite cashew nuts, we, we don't have as far as I'm no, I know. Werther's Originals, filled with chocolate in the centre. Priced down, 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 and staying down. So originally they were $5, and now they're going to be $5. So the price is down, and it's staying down. Good old Coles. Sour pencils, they're like the gummy chews. Um, these ones are the musk sticks. These are kind of strange, musk sticks. Maybe we should get musk sticks. Somebody saying musk sticks. They're kind of weird. A sort of like a oh, sort of Turkish delight, chewy sort of thing, but I'll let you decide. Brenda says, oh my word, I crave picnic bars and can't get them in the USA. Do we see picnics here? Uh, licorice all sorts. Say what you like. I'm not buying them. Actually, I don't, I'm not a big licorice fan, guys, but these are actually um, a knockoff sort of Coles version of licorice. It's a big, big bag. Yeah, it's a kilo bag or 750 grams. So about a pound and a half. Pretty heavy. They're like, um, let me just bring that back down. They're sort of like licorice in layers of sort of sugar candy. They're the only ones I like. Which ones? Them ones, these ones. Oh. <laughs> Them ones. <laughs> Michelle likes her licorice. So we've got milk chocolate covered licorice. I'm not a big fan of licorice, I'm afraid. I don't mind the strawberry licorice. So this is Daryl Lee, strawberry and white chocolate sticks. These are a, a technically really not a licorice, are they, Michelle? No, they've got a, no. Milk, milk chocolate licorice bullets. Uh, Milky Ways, Snickers, Mars bars, half price, two fifty for a packet of twelve. Um, 
mini Mars bars on that. They really are mini. I mean, basically, you could lose one of those in a cavity. <laughs> you wouldn't know it was there. Maltesers. Maltesers are one of my favorite uh, all-time snacks. They're like Whoppers, but they taste nice. <laughs> Sorry, America, but those Whoppers you sell over there, they taste awful. If you've eaten Maltesers, melt in your mouth, honeycomb wrapped in chocolate, so, so good. Twixes, 12 pieces, mini Twixes, picnics, okay? Who said picnics uh, earlier on? Brenda. Brenda, these are the mini picnics. Put in a request, I'm happy to buy picnics. Cherry Ripe, classic Australians, made by Cadbury's. I didn't know that was a Cadbury's Cherry Ripe. So they must have been bought out. I don't actually think they've always been carried. It's a real Aussie snack. You've got, um, you've got coconut, uh, inside a cherry flavored coconut wrapped in a dark chocolate. So Nigel says Terry's orange and so does Mikel. Lint Dior or Lindor from Lint. So Larry says yes, chocolate. Roses, Cadbury's roses. We grew up with Cadbury's roses. Um, Lint are making these mini pralines. So $20 for a box of chocolates, that's a little expensive. M&M's, American M&M's. So they're peanut M&M's. Ferrero Rocher, or Ferrero Rocher. Brenda says Whoppers are nasty. Whoppers may be nasty, but actually, um, um, Maltesers, I've forgotten the name, are far from nas nasty. So I'm getting a bit uh, surrounded by people, so I might go quiet for a moment. Kit Kats. So we've got the dark Kit Kats, milk chocolate, gold Kit Kats, limited edition. Can you see them? Is the pictures okay? $3 for a bar. So this one's a limited. So basically it's a white chocolate with, uh, I don't know what flavors on there, Cadbury's milk chocolate bars. Okay, we've got the picnic Cadbury's milk chocolate. Boost Cadbury's milk chocolate. Crunchy Cadbury's milk chocolate. Roasted almonds. Uh, hazelnut, fruit and nut. Plain milk chocolate. Uh, we have fruit and nut, black forest. It is. Um, marvelous creations, which are a sort of like. Um, I'll move away from the chocolate. Everybody's around the chocolate. Let's go a little further down. We'll come back to the chocolate. So here are the here are the bars, everybody. So we've got Maltesers in a box. We've got the Omar's bars, Snickers, um, Twixes, some special Twixes. That's a triple chocolate Twix. If you see anything you really, really like, one of my, Michelle and I's favorites, the little Frodo frogs. Um, Shell likes the ones with the caramel inside. Turkish Delight. Mmm. So Kelly says Kit Kat. I hope you still have the pink one, Steve. I do still have the pink one, Kelly. And Hadra's Kitchen said, I've heard you do a really nice dairy milk black forest chocolate. Yes. We do. Yes. Time out. Picnics. Twirls. Cherry Ripes. Classic Australian. Crunchies. And Violet Crumbles. So here's a few different Kit Kats. What's this one? We've got a Kit Kat Mint, Kit Kat Dark, Mint with Whirl. Okay, that's new. So that's a sort of mint Kit Kat with a bit of a sort of log effect going through it. That's new, Michelle. Um, yes. Triple Chocolate Whirl, Mint Chocolate Whirl. Kit Kat are coming out with some really good flavors. Um, up on the high shelves brings a bit Brings a bit of attention to my um, camera when I go up high. Can I grab some water, mm -hmm. Michelle? And he says the small Anton Berg marzipan chocolate bars and most of their other products too. Mikhail says Milky Bar. <laughs> Did you see Milky Bar, Mikhail? Mikhail? Right, here's the mint sections. Oh yeah, Milky Bar. I hope I'm not waving you all around too much. I'm trying to keep it steady. Here's all the, the chewing gums. Extra and a little, I don't do chewing gum, so. And here's all the Mentos, um, 
These are quite nice. Chocolate Mentos, mint new? Mentos. White, white chocolate, chocolate Mentos. Caramel Mentos. So these are like a sort of mint sort of chew with a, a sort of sugar. I can't explain. Does anyone know what Mentos are like? Uh, or are they the same everywhere else? Do you all have men life savers? Now, uh, somebody said about that, but up here, that they're different. Hang on, I'll see if I can find Skittles, that. Skittles, life savers. We have blackcurrant pastels, and we have fruit tingles. Mike said Mentos are a chewy version of mints or fruitsy sweets. Life savers are clear fruit and sweet rock candy. Okay. There you go. Uh, Werther's Originals, almost like a sort of uh, rich caramel um, sugar candy. Uh, Hubba Bubba's, they're those sort of kiddie candies that are all little different flavours. Joel's, um, Copico, I think is a, a, a sort of coffee sweet similar to um, Werther's. Werther's. Yeah. Tic Tacs. Oh my goodness, I think I was dying over heaven in there. That was when you were on the chocolate. <laughs> Let's go back to the chocolate. Uh, was that Brenda? Yeah. Let's go back, Brenda. Nobody's there at the moment. Just see some other flavours, because you might want to. You might want to help me choose. There's all, all the lovely health, healthy lint, which are actually delicious. I love all these lints, but nobody ever goes to them because they're too healthy. So orange intense, pink grapefruit intense, raspberry intense, um, mint intense, coconut, roasted sesame seed, salt. Address is by the mail. No. Nope. <laughs> and I just have my absolute favourite Lint Indoor Milk Chocolate Truffles. Okay, so you might see some other uh, absolute favourites here. We've got um, Lint Creation Sublime Mint, Heavenly Creme Brulee, uh, Salted Caramel Sunday, Sumptuous Orange, Divine Hazelnut. Any two for $6. So sure I says you must get the new hot cross bun flavoured M&M's only available in Australia. Right, we'll be checking that out because I haven't heard anything about a hot cross bun flavoured M&M's and if they're here, here's the M&M bar, chocolate bars. So Michelle can go and have a quick look. She'll do a quick recce and see if we can, if we can see them. Michelle's off. She's off to check. Uh, these are the Milky Bar sort of combinations. So instead of that plain Milky Bar, you've got Milky Bar, Nutty Crunch, Cookies, Classic, um, Nestle Crunchy, Smarties. These are the Marvelous Creations. Um, Marvelous Creations, Jelly Popping Candy uh, Chocolate, um, Clinkers Raspberry Chips and Marshmallow. So these are, are, are not that new now. Marvelous Creations Spiders, that is a um, choc, choc raspberry, so it's got like a soft filling. Okay, everybody. We are getting to the point. Okay, so we'll check that out. Also, Australia has a raspberry flavored Malteser. You guys have to look for, I haven't seen a raspberry Malteser. I'm a big Malteser fan. How can you come in mint and not Maltesers. buy something? Mint Maltesers. Oh, yes, yes. Raspberry flavoured Maltesers. Raspberry Maltesers. Now, I'm a big Malteser fan. So, what I think we'll do... Should we go down the cookie aisle? Who wants to go down the, uh, the, the, the biscuits and cookie aisle? Ruby slippers is in and says hi. Hey, Ruby. Mikhail says, get some Galaxy Caramel Mini Bites. Hi, Kelly. Now we'll look at the comments and see the recommendations. I think what I'll probably do is buy 10 snacks. And then in the next few days, we'll do a, a video. And the pizza aisle, <laughs> Nigel, all right. We don't really have a, a pizza aisle. Australia is not big on, on sort of pre-made pizzas, but I'll, I'll see what I can find. Let's go along, I'll turn the camera around. We'd like a drink. Look, this is interesting. This is the British and European section. It's just that little bit at the end there. And it's often the same sort of stuff. We've got golden syrup, Dr. Peppers from America, Iron Brew from Scotland. These are the um, uh, cans of Iron Brew. Rolos from, from the UK. Uh, 
We have some stuff. The intern. This is. It stops here. It's only two. It's only two lines. Bachi. Uh, what do you recognise? Anybody recognise anything from here? Uh, in the international line, of course, is Australian course semolina. Where's Jaffa cakes? Oh yeah, there they are, Jaffa Cakes. Tiny little packets, mind you. Four dollars for a pack. And um, actual uh, licorice all sorts, the original ones. Milkers. So this has got pasta, rice. Now, got end of aisles have got uh, special on, what are they? Ferrero Rocher. So baking, the baking aisle, Aussie pies. These are um, Garlo, Garlos, not Carlos, Aussie pies. Let's go over to the drinks. Maybe you could pick me a, a nice cold drink to, to take with me. We have icebreakers, iced coffees, uh, Dare iced coffees, uh, oak, strawberry milk vanilla milk we're mainly into our iced coffee drinks this is the uh, the kombucha now this is quite popular at the moment kombucha four dollars for a bottle it's got organic kombucha i had one of these the other day it just tasted like a lot of sugar just tasted like a lot of sugar and uh, I'm, I'm not not a big fan so if you suggest them i'm not going to be able to um Michelle's having a little look. She's gotten very excited about flavors and things that we haven't seen before. And down here we'll have, these are all the yo yogurts. We call them yogurts. Uh, some Australians call them yogurts, mistakenly so. And clearly they're yogurts, but I, I do, re <laughs> I I'm teasing you. Farmhouse gold, all natural pot set yogurts, $6.50 for a 700 gram. <laughs> so, so Michael has, has cho chosen that we're gonna have um, toilet paper as a snack. Dips and cheeses, pastas, I'm looking, what, what were we looking for, Michelle? How about some ice cream? Some of you gonna suggest I get some ice cream? Weiss's dark chocolate ice cream. Weiss's sorbet, Australian mango. Um, Halo Top, I don't know this brand. Hagen dazs everybody knows Hagen dazs Is Connoisseur, is that available all over or is that in Australia only? Connoisseur uh, chocolate brownie. Connoisseur's um, Murray River salted caramel with hazelnuts. Trina made it, so Halo Top. And Brenda says rum and raisin ice cream, please. Oh, I love rum and raisin ice cream. It's just not a flavour in Australia. Um, you rarely see it. Nigel says good call, Brenda. Yeah, it's one of, one of my favourites. Um, golden Gay Time. How about Golden Gay Time? That's another... I didn't see Golden Gay Time. Harvin Dust just released their biscuit. Flavor, maybe look at that one. It's what what flavour? Um, well, it's Biscoff Speckaloose. So Speckaloose. Yes. That would be nice. I love a Speckaloose. Um, so our brands here tend to be Weiss or, or Weiss. Um, Halo Top, I've not heard of before. Probably seen them but haven't heard them. Connoisseur, we obviously have um, Buller Ice Cream, which is uh, an Aussie, pretty sure that's an Aussie brand. Your usual tubs of vanilla ice cream. And then uh, Peter's, that's another pretty famous brand, but it may be American actually, Peter's. So the ice cream section, not huge, just maybe two or three uh, sections. Meat pies, Aussie meat pies, look. Four and 20 meat pies. I think this is an American brand actually. I've got a feeling you can actually Google it for me, but I've, I'm pretty sure. So we've got a, a, a range of, um, craft beer pies, got the Angus craft beer, 
four and twenty. I can't even read that one. Hickory and bourbon, and that's a cheese, beef and cheese pie. And then this Herbert Ab Adams. They're meant to be a better pie. Pretty much tastes the same. All oh, right. Well, we won't be going for that then. Mind you. Um, ice cream can be expensive. Generally, in Australia, I always find that you, you, you want to get your ice creams when they're on special. The thing is, they're almost always on special, one brand or another. If they're not half price this week, they'll be half price next week. So what you can do, as a rule, is, is pick your ice creams when, um, when they're on special. So, Are they like a scotch pie? I'm not sure. What is a scotch pie? How do you? So here's the deli. Prices are not on. That's unusual, actually. They normally always got the prices per kilo. Oh, these are tubs. So it's um, small tub is four dollars, medium tub is five dollars, large tub is six dollars. And there's the tubs up there. You see. And there's the prices. Our meats, this is a very common deli section in Australia. Pretty much every supermarket up and down the country will have the same meats and the same deli section. Um, I now I mentioned before, can you, can you guide me to the cookies? Biscuits. Now, we don't call them cookies, we call them biscuits. Same as the UK, they're not cookies, although a lot of them will be actually called cookies. So let's just turn the camera around. Shapes, super popular. They've got usually the three flavors, barbecue. Um, there's usually barbecue, sweet chili somewhere, sweet chili, uh, cheese and bacon, cheddar, Vegemite? and pizza. Is there a Vegemite one? Vegemite cheese. Oh, Vegemite. So there's a Vegemite, um, and cheese shapes. I'm getting a bit dry, guys. Bella Vita. I'm gonna go for a drink of water. Peckish. These are peckish, these are the rice crackers. Very, very popular. I can't stand rice crackers. You pick up, um, um, the reason is, okay, $2.50, but I could blow this packet across the floor. I mean, they say they're, they're low, low calorie, so everybody buys them, but you could literally blow that with a straw across the supermarket floor. There's nothing in it. And, and then there's these rice cakes, which are super popular now, but they're actually really unhealthy. They're full of sugars and salts and things. So oh, I better not start moaning about I'm not a big rice cracker, you can imagine. I don't mind rice crackers, but I don't want to pay good money for them. Oreos. Cadbury's coated Oreos with mint. So I don't know if we have any different flavor Oreos over here than you have in the US, but I'm guessing you don't have Cadbury's chocolate coated Oreos. Arnott's are a uh, very big brand of, of cookies over here. So we've got the Arnott Scotch Fingers, um, milk coffees, they're just the plain sort of dunking biscuits as we would call them, uh, Marie biscuits. I'm just get, waiting to let this lady get a bit ahead of us because she's, she's going to not want to be on camera. So Coles brand, okay, this is, so you were saying about do Coles have a luxury brand? Somebody's broken into that packet. <laughs> So yeah, I would say this is, is their higher end brand. So we've got hazelnut creme filled cookies, triple chocolate from Coles, um, cookie crumbles, blueberry and white chocolate cookies, caramel filled cookies. So these ones have got caramel on the inside, chocolate on the outside. So yes, this would be, and it actually says they're new. So I was wondering why I hadn't seen them before. So that's a slightly more luxury version of the cookies. Jaffa Cakes 
not in the international aisle because actually we do have Jaffa cakes over here. The boxes are getting smaller and smaller. These Jaffa cakes, when you open there, they're like a tuppenny piece. Triple chocolate deluxe brand, please. Brenda says, I live in northwest Florida. We never get anything good here. Arnott's, I love these. These are Arnott's crowns. These are a caramel chocolate biscuit. They've got um, caramel on the inside and a, a sort of soft cookie. Mm. <clears throat> crowns are delicious. Arnott's mint slices. Of course, Tim Tams. What flavours have we got this week? I mean, they change a little bit like um, Oreos. So we've got Chilmies. These are honeycomb flavoured, inspired by Gelato Messina. So these are honeycomb flavoured. These are also inspired by Gelato Messina, which I think is uh, possibly in Sicilia. I'm not sure. So that's a mint chocolate. We've got our chewy caramel Tim Tams, our white chocolate Tim Tams. We have the plain original Tim Tams and we've got double chocolate and some dark Tim Tams. Not a big selection actually. We do have quite often bigger selections of Tim Tams. Um, and that's it. Is that the whole, is that the whole cookie arm, Michelle? Uh, a few more crackers down there, but that's it, that is. So Jats, Jats, um, another, uh, again, it's a, an Aussie brand, I think, Jats. Is Arnott's Australian? I'm starting to doubt myself now. Uh, Arnott's Country Cheese. They're like, um, like a Ritz cracker or a cheese cracker. Oh, well, there's Ritz right next to it. So your Ritz crackers, but that's our Aussie version of them. But they're a cheesy one. What's those cheese um, cookies? We've also got uh, Cheds, which are like a cheddar cheese flavored. So a similar sort of thing. So help me select. Do you want me to get some cookies as well? No rice cake, sorry. These are the rice cakes. I see, the, I see people buying these salt and vinegar rice cake cakes. And when you look at the calories on the back, because they're, they're, they're kind of sold as a health food, but when you look at the sugar and the calories, oh, they're shocking. Because a lot of people eat them to get healthy. I do like Bella Vista. I think this is a, a French or German brand. So this is, um, these are like a whole grain cookie. They're really quite nice. They almost make a little that honey, honey and nut. So we are, we're running out of places to visit. I'll just take you around the fresh food aisle. Oh, there's the, the nuts, $25 a kilo for, um, and they're on special at the moment, for all your mixed nuts, from your, your cashews to your almonds. Now, unusually cashews are 25 a kilo and so are Almonds, when the almonds are a lot cheaper per kilo to buy generally. No. Ricardo is um, was um, is the, in the international. Oh, that's a German chocolate, German, possibly Swiss. I'm not 100 percent sure. Nutella, everybody loves a bit of Nutella. Then we have um, peanut butter by by an Australian company. Used to be actually a American company made this exact peanut butter used to be made, have the word craft written on here, but this year, or last year, Baker bought craft out, or bought the Nutella brand off of craft. So now, uh, sorry, the peanut butter. So, so now this is Aussie made, and they also bought, they bought Vegemite. So now Vegemite is not made by Kraft, the American company, it's actually made by an Aussie company. And a lot of people didn't know in the past that, that Vegemite was actually made by Kraft. I've got a little girl. So we've got some muesli bars here. Just So Uncle Toby's muesli bars, um, Mother Earth's OT slices, the snacks. I'll go nice and slow. If anyone wants me to take a closer look at something, just say. Uh, over this side, nice big open area. We've got our veggies. Do I, does anyone want to see the price of veggies? Okay, you saw um, the, the bananas here are 2.49 a kilo. 
and the bananas outside in that uh, little veg area that we went to were 150 a kilo so quite a bit less right I'm gonna go out of the store now and have a little chat with you all we're gonna go outside there's a few there's a few sort of management people sort of started to look over at me now and um, I'm going out before I get thrown out. Hi Petri. <coughs> Baker's Delight. So let's go and find... Let's go and find somewhere to sit and have a little chat. Donut. Hang on, let me turn this around rather than see me. Mrs. Fields cookies or Mrs. Fields a Merry Christmas cookie the big cookie cake let's have a little look along here caramel fudge nibbles the world famous chocolate chip nibbles look at that cookie with a load of corn on top sorry some macarons, macaroons, macarons. Cinnamon crunch, assy. Them jewels here, but there's your freckles. Such a good picture. Not such a good pic. Okay, the it's not so head. Back upstairs, where I think the hopefully past this flower, lovely flower shop. Turn you around. Flowers are expensive in Australia. Special $25 for a bunch of flowers. 18 bucks for what sort of flowers are these? Maybe somebody can remind me. Roses are 10 bucks. Okay, we're going to come over here and I'm going to let Michelle go through the comments. So we're going to go back in the store without the camera running and we're going to buy some snacks. But first of all, we're going to find us a little place to sit down and we're going to, um, we're going to let you, we're just going to go through the comments and get a feeling. So if anyone saw something they really would like me to taste test, something maybe you haven't had before, now is a good time to, to sort of make that comment. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up while you're in here, everybody. Uh, and we are gonna be doing a lot more videos this year. And I'm gonna ask people if they wouldn't mind sort of trying to share the videos out with their friends and families. Um, Cause it's going to be a lot extra. Like the, the video we, we, we did last week, it, um, the other, sorry, yesterday, it gets fairly low views because we're, we're trying to transition um, the channel from being sort of the occasional video to putting up quite a lot more. So just if you could just try and share them out with your friends and, and help us with that, that would be great. Um, in the meantime, any snacks? Yes, no one's saying snack. How to watch the how many Aussie dollars to the pound. You have to Google it. <laughs> Who said that? Hadra. I'm sorry, I'm not sure of the Aussie dollar to the pound. So Brenda is saying picnic, lime perrier, jaffa cakes, melted milk, malted, malted milk biscuits with <laughs> cottage cheese and ham. I mean, hell, there's no cottage cheese and ham. Did you see cottage cheese and ham in that store? Mikado. Michael, you are picking things from the international aisle. One Aussie dollar is 55 pence. Starburst. I, I will, I know a lot of you won't quite remember what was what we saw, so I will go through the comments and I will also go through and just, we're gonna, wow, there's a screaming child. Every, every, every shopping arcade has its screaming children. Um, so. 
Peanuts, cookies, triple chocolate, yeah. Okay, I, I vaguely remember those. I might go through. I'm going to get. I'm. I'm going to make one stipulation. I'm only going to get stuff that I consider to be Australian snacks. So I might have to do Google. Um, I'm, I don't mind getting brands like M&Ms if they're particular to Australia. So you you haven't got them over there. So I'll try and pick ten items and. We'll do a snack taste test very soon. I mean, I'm talking within the next few days, I hope. All right. Um, so it might be midweek. M&M chocolate bars, your choice. We'll have a look, Brenda. All right, everybody. We're going to sign off from the Westgate shopping centre somewhere in Sydney. <laughs> something savory yes, yes i will yes. We'll get, and a drink and a, and a drink or two all right any of the drinks there anybody liked yes. michelle was looking at one of them what was that one you were looking at yeah no the new caramel sort of Cat, was it coffee yeah whoops there she is so michelle was looking at one that was um an aussie brand uh a caramel sort of coffee flavor thing we might we might check that out all right what about anything else? Do I, do I want to get some ice cream? We'll, we'll, we'll decide. It's, it's hot outside. It's super hot. Turn that camera around. Right, I'm going to give you a little look round. Last look round. G'day, guys. How are you? What's your favorite yeah. drinking? Yeah. What is, what is it? Raspberry and Blueberry. Oh, Maccas. Mac Maccas. <laughs> the lads have been to. Where's Maccas then? Where is it? Down there. She's the only elevators to the left. All right, okay, good eye. What snacks should we get for overseas people to try? What's good Aussie snacks? Oh. Vegemite, that's a good one. Vegemite's always good. Something Vegemite, like a Vegemite, oh. Vegemite cook, um, snack or something like that, yeah? Yeah. What do we see Vegemite like? Like the crackers. The crackers. Vegemite oh yeah, Jats, I think Jats do some, yeah. um, some Vegemite stuff. So these boys, you don't mind being shapes. on shapes, shapes yeah? yeah? What about chocolate? Chocolate. I'm not doing Maccas. That's that's <laughs> that's no good. That's no good. Everyone get everyone has. What what do you got? Uh, pineapple and mango. mango. All right. So these lads have been down to Maccas. So a quick look round, everybody. Fried meats. See you later. The food hall. The girl over there making beautiful bunches of flowers for a customer. Tony LT says one pound is one seventy nine Oh, is it? Yeah. No, they did it the other way round. And Nigel says huge Australian cricket captain. These boys. Probably. Not if they're. Not if they're drinking maccas. <laughs> That's a bit unfair. Fried meats. Oh, fried meats. Fried meats. Let me just swing around there, Michelle. Little dodge round. These guys have got all the all the cakes. Oh, what are they? Salted caramel tarts. Passion fruit tarts. Lemon and meringue tarts. Lemon tarts. Six dollars. At least they've got their prices up. Yeah, Brenda says, is there an Australian cheese? Can you say that again? Is there an Australian cheese? Uh, yes, Vega. The company, the company that's bought out um, the Kraft peanut butter and the uh, Vegemite. Vega is a is a cheese company originally. So actually, Vega is a town in Australia. It's um, it's on. I think it's in New South Wales, isn't it? Yeah, or is it in? It's down from Sydney. It's just got up this. Uh, Travel later a little bit. I know, which you know what? I rarely come to shopping malls. And uh, Tony says <laughs> they, leave, shame, they leave me really cold. Shame I can't get ninety percent of these products here in Borneo. Low great stuff, Steve. Good stuff. So um, let me just turn the camera around a little bit. We're going up. 
I'm not sure what floor we're on. I know there's a big plant growing in the middle of the aisle. Lincraft, that's a sort of handicraft shop. Nigel wants to know, does the supermarket do online delivery? Yes, they do. We have only our, to Australia. Our, yeah, only to Australia. Target, I think, is everywhere, isn't it? So. The weather is really bizarre today. Yesterday was 38 degrees, I think it was, so it was getting up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And today, it's really cool outside. It's like, it's dropped down. Uh, it, it must be around about 22, maybe, degrees. So um, it's really cool. It's, it's bizarre. Three, one, two, three, there's high speed. And Brenda says, yep, love target. <laughs> so I think Target is everywhere, although Target here in Australia is, is uh, connected with Coles. Yes. I'm supposed, to be, I'm supposed to be wrapping this up. So this top floor is a little quieter. It's got those, those big sort of house and soft furnishing levels. The, the lower floors have, um, the, actually no, the very low floor. Let me just have a little look down here. Oh, it's probably just parking, is it? I think there's three floors of shopping. So Annie said that's a, that's a big drop in temperature in 24 hours. Yeah, it's really cool today. I've still got uh, a thin shirt on, but it's really um, cool. Yesterday I changed my shirt twice. Today... Um, we had a bit of a storm last night, didn't we? We had a storm, and, and if, you, if you can see up there, I don't know if you can see, it's, it's the clouds, it's really grey. It's really cool. It's actually really beautiful. Anyway, everybody, we're going to head off. Time to go, Michelle? Yep. Nigel said it was mild here today, three degrees centigrade. Okay. <laughs> you imagine how hot it was yesterday. Is that Nigel? Yeah. Everybody, take care. We're going to see you. We're going to make some decisions, go in and get some snacks. Thank you for joining us. Take care, and we'll see you again very shortly. Be good.